kitchen and it's getting spooky in here. Ah! Bloody orange cocktail coming your way. Here we go. Got an orange left over from something else I was doing. We're just gonna squeeze it in there. And I just need two ounces for this one. So hopefully this will have us enough. If not, I have more oranges. I have more. We eat oranges regularly. Do you? Fancy? Okay, let's see how we did. Yep, good enough. Perfect, actually. I have my cocktail shaker. I'm gonna put some ice in here. I'm gonna measure some things out. I need two ounces of vodka. What are you guys doing for Halloween? Are you doing anything? Are you going anywhere? Kids trick or treat? Passing out candy? I think um, we are passing out candy and probably taking the kids trick or treating at least a little. We'll see. Um, I have one ounce of triple sec. Every year we think we buy enough candy. I think last year we went through two bags of 100 count. Um, that was one ounce of triple sec. But we're gonna do two ounces of fresh orange juice. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Whenever you can use a fresh juice ingredient, please do. Um, I have some pomegranate juice. Not making that fresh. Um, I don't have a, that kind of juicer. So I just try to find the best quality one that I can. And for where I'm at, this was it. One ounce. And this is what's going to make it bloody looking. <laughs> Halloween. I have some friends that are just absolute Halloween fanatics. Um, decorate their inside the house, the giant, like, what is it, like 12 foot skeleton or something? I don't remember, but it's pretty amazing. The next thing I'm gonna do, I have some sanding sugar on this plate. I'm gonna put the lid on this because we wanna prep our glass next. This is my house-made simple syrup, and I'm just gonna pour enough in there to ruin my glass. I will put the link below down in the description on how to make that. It's literally sugar and water, much better, fresher and you can control how thick it is. You're just gonna take your martini glass and you're gonna just swirl it around and you wanna just coat the rim. That's why they call this, it's called rimming. All right, and then you do the same thing in the sugar. And it's just sanding sugar. There's some specific to cocktails, but you could actually go to the baking section and find sanding sugar there. Um, this is slightly larger granules than what I like to use, but I think in this case, it works because look at how pretty that is. It's just nice and mm, ready for a bloody sandwich. You know, before, yeah, let me pour this. Before I just talk too much, I'm gonna pour this. Um, my original plan was to make you a blood orange cocktail. So my plan was to make a blood orange cocktail, um, but the blood oranges aren't in season yet. <laughs> So um, I decided, you know what, I'm going to make the orange juice with the oranges and then I'll do the pomegranate and that'll give it the red color. So here we are. That's how I came up with this. It's possible that it's out there already. Somebody's already making this, but um, I didn't get any help. Is all I'm saying? All right, let's um, give it a try and see if I can do this without spilling. Ooh, yummy. That pomegranate juice just really gave it a nice little hint of extra sweetness but not overpoweringly sweet that's really good so this is one of my two halloween cocktails i hope you enjoy it go get yourself some sanding sugar um make your simple syrup if you can it's it's really easy um and squeeze your juices if you can these little these little juicers i think i said it last time i made um something with the orange juice it's like it's less than 10 bucks and it does such a good job getting the juice in the pulp out it's so quick and easy. If you're not making a pitcher of juice, I would say it's quick and easy. You get to the you get to the pitcher level, you're getting an arm workout. I'm gonna stop talking now, except to say happy Halloween. Thanks for joining me here today in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen. And cheers. That's one boy.